Hey, in this video, we are going to explore how to use IC555 to make a mono stable multi vibrator. In previous video, we have learned how IC555 works in mono stable mode, where we have seen complete and in detail operation with animation. If you want to understand that first, then you can check out that video. The link is in the description and above here in card button. But here, First of all, we'll start with the circuit building. So let's go to that. We are going to use this component toolbar to gather all the components to prepare the circuit. Now here we have taken all the required components. On the screen, you can see the circuit diagram of how to connect IC555 in monostable mode of operation. So we are going to prepare circuit exactly like that. So here our circuit of monostable multivibrator using IC555 is ready, where we have used R1, R22 resistor. S1 switch, C1 capacitor, R3 resistor, 1 LED to observe the output, C2 capacitor of 10 nanofarad and IC555. Our supply is of 12 volt. And now we'll see output on LED as well as on oscilloscope. So here we have one oscilloscope to observe the output. Now we'll set R1, R2 and R3. So instead of 1K, let's make it 10K. Let's make it 1.5K. It will not make a big difference if it is 1K or 1.5K. And you can keep it as 500 ohm. 1K is also fine, but I want to change. So I made it 500 ohm. Now, in the previous video, we have seen how this IC555 works in monostable mode. There, we have seen the equation of time for one pulse. And the equation is. T is equal to 1.1 into R1 into C1, where this is the R1 and this is the C1. Now, if you place both these values in this equation, the time for one pulse will get as So as per this equation, the time for one pulse is around 11 millisecond. So now what we are going to do, we will run this simulation and observe that is it really we are getting 11 millisecond or is there any difference. So now let's run the simulation. We have started the simulation, we will reverse it to the white and once we press this key, the pulse will begin. Okay. So we'll bring it up to here and now we are going to resize this thing. Uh, let's make it uh, horizontal scale as 5 millisecond so we can have a better view. Right, so it is of 5 millisecond. Now this is T2 and this is T1. So the time difference between these two T2 minus T1 which is almost 10.968 millisecond. So we can compare this thing with this. It is almost 11 millisecond. So this is one of the method when R1 and C1 capacitor is known to you, you can find the time for one pulse. But what if the time for one pulse is known to you and you need to prepare the circuit according to your requirement? So how can you do that? Let's see. But before moving ahead, here is one question for you. In this video, we are talking about which mode of operation. Write the answer in comments below and let's see how focused are you in this video. So now, let's write the answer below. Yeah, and one more thing. Till now, have you found this video useful for you? If your answer is yes, then you can also help me in return. You just need to subscribe to this channel and give a like to this video. That's it. You did it man. It's very simple man. Just do it. And now we are going to explore another method when time is set and we need to find R and C. So let's suppose our time is one second. 
so for this much period of time we need to keep this pulse on and for that we need to find r and c so what we'll do we'll take c as any assumed value near to the practical available capacitor for example i will take it as 4 microfarade so 4 into 10 raised to minus 6 farad and i will find the value of r according to these two values so let's modify this equation so we have got the r1 is almost equal to 193 kilo ohm and c1 is equal to 4.7 microfarad so we'll place these values we'll update r1 and c1 and then we'll see at the output what will be the width of the pulse now let's run the simulation open it and what we'll do close the switch open it close it open it close it open it close it open it so we have closed the switch several times and open it several times and from here you can see that it had started from zero and lasted for one second right because our time base is one second so from here we can see that the pulse we are getting is of one second even in this pulse also we'll set this over here and t1 will set over here and t2 minus t1 is exactly one second so using this equation we can find r1 or c1 so using these equations we can generate pulse of our required width and by regulating r1 or c1 we can change the width of the pulse so now if you have any question about ic triple five you can write here in comments or you can discuss it with me on my telegram and my instagram page the link of these accounts is in description box below. In the next video, we are going to discuss about a stable and bi stable mode of operation. So until we meet again in our next video, till the time, bye bye.